Deborah Paget, a seductive yet always sympathetic and demure leading lady of the 1950s, was frequently chosen for exotic parts like Native American or South Seas maiden princesses in a number of melodramas and westerns of the time. She was a beautiful brunette with a warm, friendly, and romantic screen persona, but for the majority of her 15 years in the movies, she was only utilized as decoration, playing the stereotypical ingenue romantic interest or supporting role. The extras in Cecil B. Mill's silent films weren't actors, they were real people. Before digital crowds and large-scale productions, the 5,000 actors who appeared in the Ten Commandments prior to the opening of the Dead Sea's waters were absolutely real. Some of the biggest stars from the heyday of Hollywood included Charlton Heston, Anne Baxter, Yul Brenner, Ivan DiCarlo, and Deborah Paget, appeared in Cecil B. DeMille's 1956 remake of his timeless black-and-white film. She had never desired the position, but she had been touched by the hand of God, according to DeMille, who wanted to see her and hired her right away. Her response baffled her because DeMille looked to be the reincarnation of God, and God has always had a strong influence on her. His enormous Bible was constantly open on the round table in his office at Paramount. Deborah Paget had a 15-year Hollywood career that included her signature part as Lilia in The Ten Commandments, but Elvis fans today most often associate her with the role as Presley's first leading woman in his 1956 directorial debut. While Paget was only 17 months older than the 21-year-old Presley at the time of Love Me Tender, it was Paget's 20th film overall. When she finally got to meet Elvis, she was nervous. Deborah was shocked by Elvis. She was taken back by several things, including Elvis's sensitivity, how well Elvis took to acting. Everyone wanted to know whether Elvis had any romantic attraction. She answered the query in a straightforward manner. According to the actress, her own relationship with Elvis was more focused on their family than on romance. Elvis was undoubtedly a special young man. In many ways, he was a normal, healthy 21-year-old. He had a lot of energy to burn, for starters. In his cinematic debut, Elvis Presley made her the focus of his desire because of her attractiveness. This provided a safe harbor for the cunning Priscilla, who three years later seduced Elvis and was married by imitating the actress's hairstyle. Elvis had already asked Deborah to marry him, but her parents had vehemently rejected the idea. Their shared love for God brought them together. She admitted Elvis has sung wonderfully gospel that was dedicated to the Lord, but that was all. With her snake dance in the Indian tomb, Deborah Paget was able to mesmerize many generations thanks to her little body, dark hair, and vivid blue eyes. But that exoticism quickly faded. Click here to watch this video next.